Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to Get a Grizzly's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. Uh, so I'd like to start off by saying a huge thank you to everybody who has contributed to the series so far. It's been fantastic, the amount of support and advice I have received from you all. Absolutely fantastic. You know who you all are that have contributed, I thank you sincerely. And, um, here's to Bandai. Which actually translates to 10,000 years. I was like, yes, I know what that means. Uh, so, right, yes, we are going to be doing some interesting things uh, this episode. Namely, we're going to take a look at aircraft production. Something I actually did somewhat forget about. Right. Air. Okay. And engines. So, we're going to bring up our good old friend, the tracker here. I have apparently made this too large. Apologies. Right, there we go. Much better. Right then. So you can see here the uh, types that we're producing from where... Basically the types. Yep, yeah, there we go. Engines that are available. Okay, so this is going to be very important. Now, fighters. Are CV capable... Status. Uh, available. There we go. Okay. We'll put this on simple just so it's a little bit easier to read. Uh, view engines. View air groups, frame stats. Okay. Oh, sweet. Now. I'm looking for the zero. There we go. Right, so the A6M2 is a fighter, of course. Um, it is produced using the Nakajima HA35 engine. Um, right. Can I stretch that? There we go. Right, engine use. Okay. So we have 28 in the pool. We build 1.87 per month to uh, repair, and I believe uh, one use. Hmm. Is this is airframes, now engines. Uh, so we need the Ha. 35. Right, there we go, the half 35, which is produced by the Nakajima. Okay, pools 166, build in six of them. Factory total 180. Okay. Uh, so we are producing these in Tokyo. Okay, but now is it down. Uh, so we're going to ramp up the production. Now, I do have a good amount of actual engines. I need... Quite a few uh, airframes, perhaps. Hmm. No. I think we should um, work on actually producing more engines. I'm going to need engines. Engines are undoubtedly harder to produce. Okay. So we'll turn off the airframes. Look at the half 35. Right, here we go, the half 35. Yeah. Nakajima, half 35. Uh, so we are producing 180 engines per month. Okay. Uh, so how many do we actually need for an airframe? Right. Engine use 56. Hmm. Ah. Interesting. Right, ID. So do we only have the one factory producing the A6M20? Right, there we go, we have two here. And so we have the one at Hiroshima, Hiri. Now I imagine this is going to take some time. Ah, size, okay. Right, so I can expand that. Expand now. Okay. Now, ideally, I should have had this production at Tokyo. So that was... <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the greatest... Uh, move there. But that was before I really understood how actual industry works. 
Uh, so yeah, okay. This is going to be a bottleneck in the future, I'd imagine, unless I actually have resources being sent here. Now, Hiroshima. Right. Oh, there's no heavy industry. That sucks quite a lot. Bull may do. Right. Oh, that's gonna suck. Um, Hiroshima then. Oh. Hmm. It has enough for time, uh, for the time being anyway. Okay, so we'll go back. Not to that. Right, I'm gonna bump that up to about 60. Oh, 59, that'll do. So I'll start expanding. Now I'm going to go to the actual engines. And I want to boost the half 35 production. Hmm. So I'm going to expand that by 20, I think. Bring it up to 200. There we go, that'll start to expand in. Now, I do wonder if I could change these. So we have the Mitsubishi, yeah, Mitsubishi, H31. Now, what do you, uses the H31? H31, H31. The KI-15. KI-15. I think it was a B. K fifteen two B. Oh right, that makes sense. There we go. Okay, so it's reconnaissance, right? That makes sense. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna leave it as is. I don't want to step on anybody's toes by um, really screwing up with the production. I'll keep expanding the um, actual factory site. It's just the fact I'd like to have other factories. Hmm. We might be able to do that in the future and possibly uh, convert something. Uh, but for the time being, that's going to increase our production of um, half 35 engines. And we're gonna increase production of the AM. Six two uh, zeros. So I can't wait for that. Now, we do have our submarines over here, then all in the same hex. But I'm going to form a new uh, task force. Uh, sub patrol, sub mine laying. That'd be interesting. But I'm going to go with sub patrol. Yep, the I fifty six, the I. 57, VI 58. There we go, confirm. There we go, under player control. Now, your home port will be Saigon. Or not, I will. Uh, hmm. What size is this port over here? Two. Two. Uh, five. Five is pretty good. Okay. Return here. Then again, they do have some good range. Hmm. Bravo. Right. Task Force destination. I'd like to try and send them to Singapore. I want to try and intercept anything that leaves Singapore. And especially if I could intercept the... Um, Prince of Wales, that'd be fantastic. Right, we are still fighting over here, but we do have our battleships in support. Do we have the range to hit Pearl Harbor again? I doubt it.
Hmm. Okay. That'll do for the time being. Now then. So they're on their way to truck then. What do I have in truck in terms of actual offensive capability? Uh, so we have a heavy cruiser potentially might more than likely will be a light cruiser. Right, type. Uh, yeah, we have the Kishima. Right, patrol boat. Endurance is 6,000, which is not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Really fairly good, actually. Hmm. Mine layers. Interesting. A coastal mine layer. Yes, they do have really low endurance, however. Auxiliary mine layer tender. Interesting. We have some civilian vessels over here, then. Low tenders. Hmm. Okay, then. I'm just thinking about maybe using them to help raid, but wouldn't really do too much. I need something in the area. Now we do have a few more fleet elements over here then. Okay, another cruiser. Red Katori. Oh, Katori will head over to truck and will form up a little fleet. Uh, basically, if I can have some ships to support the Londons, that would be better than absolutely nothing. And at least if I can uh, try to safeguard them, to some extent. And I probably won't be able to do too much, but if I can get some use out of these cruisers, then I will be more than happy. I do have these ships, though. I think I should form these patrol boats up. I mean, I could obviously, obviously have them patrol, but that's going to be using fuel that I really do not have. And it's, uh, it's expenditures that I could do without right now. At least that's my opinion. So I think we'll grab the, uh, Katori. Katarai. Kataro. Katarai? Something like that. Right, form new task group. Okay, surface combat. I suppose I could take some of these with me. That's actually not a bad ship at all. I and mean, it's not too powerful, it's not bad. It's about half that of a light cruiser, so it's, it's not too bad. Not too bad. So we'll take these ones. Okay. So I'm going to have you assigned to truck. Set home uh, port as truck. And there we go. Return to truck. It shouldn't take too long at all. What do we have in this area?
Cool. Submarine. I'm just heading quite far south. Interesting. I'm looking forward to the Londons on the Philippines. That's what I'm looking forward to. I was trying to think of what else I could do in this turn. Or oh, basically this phase. Right. So you're on your way to the San Diego area. The Channel Islands area. That, and I'd love to try and use it to try and figure out where the American carries are. We have the Aleutian Isles over here. I think this is the Aleutian Isles? Yeah, the Aleutian Islands. Such a nice name. I don't know why. Such a nice name. Right. The issue is weather here. There's a big issue with the weather. What are these ships doing here? Amphibious. Okay. Ah. Mandanao. What is Mandanao? Hmm. Mandanao, Mandanao, Mandanao. Where for that bow? My dear Mandanao. A Mandanao. This is actually going to take me some time. Here we go. Right, Mandanao. Ah. Right, I can see why that's been delayed. Would I do better sending this elsewhere? That's a question I have to ask myself. Uh, so let's take a look then at Mend now. Right, what do we have here? Uh, port capacity 2, air capacity 3, so not too bad in this area. Some resources there. Resources. Resources. <sighs> I need to figure out where most of this oil is. Alright, there's some oil. Lots of oil here. Okay. Uh, so Mirai, uh, Mirai is a prime candidate. Right, not that. Bases. Damn, I can't see resources. Either way. Port capacity is 2. There's a road here, actually. Port capacity is 3. Air capacity is 5. There's ships over here, actually. Okay. Right, 
Right, we'll hold off for the time being. So we do have destroyers over here. IPD, actually. Okay, okay, okay. Now these planes. Using torpedoes. What is it that you're using? Ah, bombs, okay. A light bomb loaded that one. But they are a constant mode. So that makes sense. Okay. So there's not really too much I can do right now. It's basically waiting for our task forces to arrive and um, basically moving troops. Now the Soviets aren't active. Right, it's a good amount of men. Where's the greatest number of uh, forces? That's right, a good amount of men. Right, so the destination. Uh, we're going to have these Korean forces move into China. Do you shall? There we go. Just, it's basically just a point of reference for me. Right, set all to follow. We'll go back. There we go. Strategic, good, fantastic. As uh, so they should move out. So that's another few thousand men being sent over to that area. Good. I need to know where the oil is. I know where one of the main bases is for oil, so that's good to know. Good amount of oil there. Importantly, a refinery. Or a good number of refineries. Yeah. Right, so yeah, ja uh, Java. It's important. Very important, actually. Right. So I have a few infantry here. Batan Island. Hmm. It's not really worth it. I'm going to upgrade uh, Naha to be my main defensive base so we can, uh, can move on from that. Okay. It's going to take you some time to load up. And um, do we have an oiler nearby? If I have an oiler nearby, I can refuel those and we can get moving. Thunderstorms. Right. So, at the risk of things not being done, I think I will move on. I do want to get this going. Ah, there's way too many aircraft here. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Right, number. Right, so there's a good number of actual bombers over here then. Okay. As we'll have you transferred then, so transfer you to a different base. Now, which base do I go to? Range. Size. That's good for me. Taichu. We'll move some more. I do not want too many aircraft in this one spot. It really does not help. Taichu. Okay, almost there. Right, there's a good number of zeros over here. Where could I move these zeros? Do we have an airbase over here? We do have an airbase, but I don't reckon we'll really have anything much in the way of supplies. Uh, but if I indicate this area to be um, given supplies, we could have uh, zeros base over here to Bataan. Then from Bataan, have them fly air superiority over the Philippines. I think that'd be a nice idea. Using drop tanks, okay. Right, transfer to base at Bataan Island. There we go. 
as so I'll give you an order. Escort sweep. Go sweep. Hmm. Actually, no, go with escort instead, I suppose. Airfield attack? Eh. Eh. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to have supplies sent here. And fuel. Now I could do an aviation support base over here. Or support unit. Base force. Okay, aviation support. Right, so this is the 48th Air Force. Right, okay. Uh, so what I need here then is uh, a cargo ship. I have two destroyers, actually, and I have a few of these. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Hmm. So what we'll do then is... Troops none, of course. Capacity. That's huge. So I'll send you. If I could. Right. I need to load it onto the. Right. Form new task group. Uh, transport. Transport. Fast transport. Amphibious. No. That's got no. Cargo. Hmm. Ah, uh, transport, there we go. I know you're here somewhere. Da 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 da. I don't know if this means this is how many they can carry. It's got to be how many they can carry. Yes, yeah, so that is absolutely huge. So take the Tariashu. Tari 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 Amaru Okay. Yeah, cargo civilian. Right. Low troops. Ah. Not large enough then apparently. Troop load available. Ah. Okay, so we need a second one. Fantastic. Da 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 Engineers. Oh my god, we're at the end of the episode. So thank you so very much for watching guys. Until next time. It's